Ready? That man literally has a cannon for a leg. Yes, he does. Here he goes, winding up for the shot, and... Oh! For round two. And Shaw takes a moment. Here he goes with the approach. Oh! Double knot, kids. Sterling, still waiting for the kick to happen. He's probably wondering when. Oh! Possible way that North Carolina can mess up this shot. Oh! 158 kilometers per hour! This man can do no wrong! Look at him beg for mercy when it's mercy! In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of creating this horizontal scroll effect in Framer. So buckle up and get ready. Let's go through a simple process. So this will be the general layout of our page. As we scroll through, we'll eventually reach the sticky section. And that's where the horizontal scroll effect will come into play. And once it's done, it will keep scrolling as it normally should have. In summary, this is what our page will look like. Now let's start building it. As you can see, all my assets are already in place so we won't need to spend too much time setting up the page. I'm going to create the first page, add layout settings to it, and begin positioning my elements. Next, I'll add a second frame and set its height to 550 viewport. Call it sticky. Inside this, I'll add another frame. Set its height to 100 VA. Name it Horizontal Scroll and add a horizontal layout to it. This is where we'll add the individual pages that we'll customize. In my example, I'll create two pages both with a height of 100 VI. For the width, I'll set the first page to 1500 pixels and the second to 3000 pixels. Once they're customized, I'll add them back to the main page and align them to the left. Put horizontal scroll frame to a sticky position. and make sure all its parent containers have overflow set to visible. Add a third page below it and customize it. Now that our design is ready, let's set up the horizontal scroll effect. Inside the sticky parent, add a frame and name it timer. Set its width to fill and its height to 300 VA.
then add a scroll section tag to it. Next, select the horizontal scroll frame and add a scroll transform effect to it. Choose section in view, select the first option, and set the tag to the one we just created. Follow along with my adjustments. If we preview this, we can see that as we scroll down, the page scrolls horizontally. Now, let's add a bit of flair to this page. Add a timeline component to your page. If you're unfamiliar with timelines, check out my video on sticky scroll animations. I'll link it in the top right corner. Set the timeline component to absolute position and stretch it to the end of the timer frame. Since I want to animate three cards, I'll leave it this way. But the more elements you want to animate, the more containers you'll need. Select each card, add a scroll transform effect. Choose section in view and set the correct scroll section name. Adjust settings as needed for smoother animations. Once done, set each card to its hidden variant. And that's basically it. Here I'm just adding a few more effects, like an appearance effect on the first page and some scroll transforms on the last page. And here's the final result. <laughs> 